So, we've been covering a lot of news from the Big M, Microsoft. Exciting news after exciting news. Time for Sony to shine. What does Sony bring us today on Merry Chat? Your everything gaming news coverage? Depressing news. The big S. They are killing off some old school legacy consoles. Um, in particular, the online stores where you could purchase the digital games, right? Specifically, the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation Portable, also known as the PSP, one of my all-time favorites, all-time favorite handhelds. I have a massive, massive collection. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Thank God I do. And another one of my massive collections, the PlayStation Vita. Remember that one? Beautiful system. And I also have a massive PlayStation 3 collection, probably in the thousands. Um, again, thank God I do. Same with the Vita. You know, as many digital games as I have on Vita, I got that physical. And, and listen, this is why I fight for, for physical this is why I'm a hoarder. This is why I have shelves in game rooms. This is why I have an obsession with going to the store and buying physical retro releases and older game system games and going on eBay and buying that real expensive out of print game and going on a hunt and collecting Vita and PSP and 3DS and DS and Atari and GameCube and Dreamcast. This is why, guys, nothing lasts, no, nothing lasts forever, even cold November rain. You know, that's what Axl Rose said, but he's absolutely right. And it's the same with video games. I mean, really, Sony? I understand you want to put the past behind and you want to move forward, but were those systems really bothering anyone? And you'd be surprised, you know, I'm talking in the community. There's a lot of upset people. But see, here's the thing. You're talking to collectors. See? We have physical. See, this is what's happening today. You know, people that bought the PlayStation 5 Digital. People that bought the Xbox Series S. There's no physical. It's all digital. Think about down the line. Think about, you know. Now, now, granted, it's a little different today. See, we're in a kind of a bind here. Because there's DLC. There's downloadable patches now. And now, sometimes now it's just a shell to put on your shelf. Sometimes physical is not even anything on the disc or cartridge. It's a clamshell case with a digital code to download. You know how many games I've gotten like that? Just recently. So we're in a world of hurt if anything happens. But back then, physical was physical. Real physical. So like, people are flipping out that never invested in physical. Not my problem. Not, I mean, not a problem for me. I feel for them. But like Vita, I got shelves full of Vita games. PSP, I still got those UMD movies where you bought the movies on... Oh, what man, what'd I get? Big Trouble in Little China, um, Predator, Alien, uh, Goodfellas. I, I don't know. I got tons and tons of movies on UMD where you could just sit in your bed or on the couch and watch PSP. It was the coolest freaking thing. Star Wars, I think. I don't, whatever came out, oh, a Marilyn Manson concert, Guns, Guns, and Government. I used to buy concerts, all physical. Vita, tons of, tons of physical. Now, see, I know Vita had a lot of indie games, which only came out digitally. Um, PlayStation 3, tons and tons of physical games. Collector's editions, 
It's all gone now digitally. You, the, the stores shut down. They're ending the stores. Sony, the death of the legacy console. So you'll only have the PlayStation 4 and up. <laughs> you know? It's like... I was surprised that the PS3 is going. Like, maybe I could see the PSP. I'm actually really surprised with the Vita because... Well, not really. They didn't. Sony didn't even acknowledge the Vita when it was current. Why are they going to acknowledge it now, right? You know, it kind of made me think about the Vita with all this news happening. The Vita was such a... A unbelievable machine. It just didn't get the marketing. It just didn't get the push from developers. It was such a gorgeous machine. And the people that owned Vita love it. Absolutely love it. Um, then they came out with the cheaper screen and the cheaper build quality. And then they dropped the OLED. I never could understand any of that. I never could understand why the Vita didn't become like the next 3DS. Because it was it was just as good, if not better. That was a powerful little sucker. And you could do remote play with the PlayStation 4. I used to use it all the time. Great machine. Glad I own physical. What do you guys think? I mean, I know we have to move on in life, but this is what, again, this is why, you know, I'm always on the hunt to preserve these games. To preserve what once was. And, you know, I'm still shocked today that they came out with next gen consoles that had disk drive. We're very lucky. And that's because it's in demand, you know? It's like, wow. Just like how records are making a big comeback. Record now I'm I'm seeing, I mean, vinyl, you know, is huge, but now I'm seeing cassettes now. Cassettes are like a big thing. I was just talking to somebody today. We're having a whole discussion. Cassettes. Physical. People love their physical. I do. What about you guys? Let me ask you a question. Did you guys invest in a lot of PlayStation 3? I got to have some collectors out there. You, how about Vita? How about how about um, PSP? I got tons of PSP. How about 3DS? How about DS? How about my Game Boy collection? You know what I'm proud of? My Game Gear collection. My Atari Lynx collection. Chime in on the comments below. I want to hear from you. Take care, everyone. I'll be seeing you guys again soon. Mary out! Shame, really. Really, it's sad. I don't know.